Clarity Soft is great at helping you manage your day-to-day -day sales activities. So in this video, I'm going to go through a day in the life of a typical salesperson. So um, I've highlighted my prospect up here, Bob Jones, and I want to start calling on him and see if I can sell him some CRM software. So let's say I pick up the phone and um, I place a call to Bob and I leave him a voicemail. Well, I want to log that call. So I'm going to go up here and log activity and say I called and left message. And you'll notice under his activity history, uh, there's that call where I left a message today. Then I want to schedule a follow-up call for next week. So I can go up here to new activity and say call and follow up. And I'll schedule that for Monday save and close. So now if you notice under his activities we're starting to build some activity history. So let's say next week I get him on the phone and he agrees to a meeting. So I can go up here and schedule a meeting. And we'll say discuss project and save and close. So now you can see that I have a meeting scheduled with him. And then if I want to send Bob an email, I can click his email address and it launches Microsoft Outlook if I'm using Outlook. And you'll notice here there's a Save to Clarity Soft button and that's our Outlook add-in. So if I type this email up and send, it will save this email under Bob's activity history. If I don't want to save it, just uncheck it. Okay, so we'll close that. So now let's say I um, want to add an attachment to Bob's record. I just come down to attachments and click add new. Or what if I want to add some additional notes to Bob's record? I can come down to notes and click add new. Type up my notes and click OK. So let's say I go out, we have our meeting with Bob and we determined that Bob is looking for CRM software. So I can come straight down here to the Opportunities tab and click Add New. And you'll notice that it auto-populates his company and his name and then I can choose a product type and I'm going to say they want a hosted solution and I'm going to pick a sales stage and we're in the proposal stage. And up here in the Opportunity field I can describe it. We'll say 10 users and the web the lead source is website and that carried over from the contact and um, the total amount is going to be uh, five thousand dollars and um, I can come down here and choose a close date as well and we'll just hope that we're gonna get it done by next week and save and close so now you can see that I have an opportunity created for Bob Jones and um, so if I go back, you can look, I've got my activities, I've got attachments, I've got notes, and I've got an opportunity that I'm now tracking with Bob Jones. So let's say Bob Jones calls me up and says, I need you to give me a formal price quotation. Well, I just come straight down here, click quotations, and add new. And if I leave that queue alone, it'll auto-generate a quote number, or I can put my own quote number in. And then I'll put a description of uh, 10 CRM users. And then I come straight down to products and services and start adding products and services. So I'll click here and say that he wants, uh, he'll have CRM users. He'll also want the mobile and uh, browser as well. And we'll hit, uh, oh, we'll get some services. How about the quick start program to get him up and running fast? And click OK. So. For the CRM users, he needs 10, and mobile solution, he needs 10, and CRM for tablets and browsers, he needs 10. And you'll notice that there's the cost or the price on uh, the mobile solution and tablet is zero. It's included in the um, overall price. And then um, I can make changes to pricing by putting discounts in or changing the price directly. So now I've created a price quotation with all of the line items and I simply click OK. So now you can see that under Bob Jones uh, records I can see the price quotation. 
but I haven't given this to him yet. So I have to go over to the quotations area. And um, let's see, there it is. And I s simply right click on it and do a quotation report. And I'm going to go ahead and just click this one right here. And there's the quote. And I actually have all of the um, end user license terms in there with a signature page at the bottom or a signature line. So they can sign it and we're ready to rock and roll. Okay, so now we have a quotation created for Bob Jones. And so we have our activities, we have our attachments, notes, opportunities, and finally a quotation. And then Bob Jones calls up and says, we're going to go with you guys. So I can go down to the quotation. I can right click on that quotation and convert it to a sale. Make any last minute changes to quantities and pricing. Hit OK. And now we have a sale in the system. And if I come down here, there it is. And if I go back up to the contact and look under his sales, you can see that there's the sale. Now, everything that I've been doing with Bob rolls up to ABC Corporation at the account level. So if I want to, I can go to accounts and I can um, type in ABC and up comes the account and of course it's going to show me all of my contacts there and there's Bob. All opportunities there, all quotations, all sales and all activities for all users. So at the account level I get a global view of everything that I've been doing with all of my contacts at ABC Corp. Where at the contact level, I only see what I've been doing with Bob. So there's an example of how you might use ClaritySoft on a day-to-day -day basis. Thank you for watching.